In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called adding rational expressions with linear denominators without common factors, advanced. And as with any time we're adding or subtracting fractions, our first step will be to find our common denominator. And looking at these two denominators, x plus 2 and x, they are both factored as much as possible, and they do not have any common factors. So our least common denominator will be the product of those two denominators. So x times x plus 2. And our first step will be to rewrite each of these with an x times x plus 2 denominator, meaning that our first denominator will need that x factor. And to multiply the denominator by x means I must also multiply the numerator by x. Our second denominator has the x and needs the x plus 2. And to multiply the denominator by x plus 2, we must also multiply the numerator by x plus 2. This will give us that common denominator of x times x plus 2. And we can begin to simplify by doing the multiplication in the numerators for the first fraction x times x is x squared, x times 3, a plus 3x. Since this is subtraction, I'll be careful with that negative and just leave it out for the time being and go ahead and do this multiplication in the numerator, distributing the x, x times x is x squared, x times plus 2, a 2x, minus 4 times x, a minus 4x, and minus 4 times 2, a minus 8. We've rewritten this as a single fraction with that common denominator, but we can simplify the numerator quite a bit, and I'll start by distributing that negative to get rid of those parentheses. Negative times x squared, negative x squared, negative times a 2x, minus 2x, negative times a minus 4x, a positive 4x, and negative times a negative 8, a positive 8. Continuing to simplify the numerator, I can now combine like terms. We have a positive x squared and a minus x squared. Those cancel. We have a plus 3x, a minus 2x, and a plus 4x. Those combine to be a 5x, and I'm left with that constant plus 8. From here, I should attempt to simplify by factoring to see if any factors cancel. But since the denominator doesn't have any common factors, it is in its simplest form. 